I frequently receive comments from viewers saying, why don't you generate electricity with your steam engines? Well, I do now and again. So here's a compilation video showing some of them in action. This engine has a rubber drive belt and it's broken. I'm going to rejoin it like this. It's simple to do. I've used a piece of 400 grit wet or dry sandpaper and I've chamfered both ends of the belt at opposite sides. All I need to do now is stick the chamfered parts together using some super glue. This type of angle joint will be very strong. Within 10 minutes of doing the job, I fitted the belt to the traction engine, which is now driving the generator. And when I fit the canopy back in place, all the LEDs light up. And please note, to generate for the canopy lights, you need to run in reverse, in exactly the same way as on my four and a half inch scale, very large Buddle Showman's engine. My mobile phone is charging and it's charging very well. This is still a bit fast so I'm going to leave it running and see what the minimum speed is where the phone stops charging. It's still charging at this speed and if I speed it up a little bit it's charging at this speed. So I think the size of the pulley is about right for the job. Tension of the pulley is quite important. Too much tension and there's too much stress on the bearing on the generator and the tension here is fine unlike outside where the tension is much higher. My phone battery is now completely flat, but the generator is supplying enough power even at this low speed to reboot the device. And all I'm waiting for now is for the icons to appear on the screen and then I'll be able to use the phone before the compressed air runs out. Please take the time to visit my Main Steam Models website and click on the section of the website that says Video Playlists. And by doing that you can find other videos that you may like to watch. And by using the playlists you can actually watch the videos back to back. 